Today is a very sad day. Today we must say farewell to my book cart who lost a leg. Rest in peace. Um, yeah. Uh, my book cart lost one of its wheels and um it's very dust in here now but this thing here um is supposed to sit underneath the leg bit and and it's it's on the wheel which came off so <laughs> it's not really fixable i've tried this before because i did have a, another one in this exact same color because uh, I, I bought two of those in that color when I bought that one and uh, it broke it broke as I put the wheel on uh, I tried to fix it it did not work uh, so eventually I got a pink one as well so I do have a pink one over there which basically houses all my stationery and um, Tom's just underneath the tripod. <laughs> it houses all my stationery and I find it very convenient to just roll around this little car which houses all my pens and stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna move that. Also, uh, Tom does have like a cot on the top. See, it's falling down. <laughs> it's not stable. <laughs> um... So, the the issue here is it doesn't want to stay up by itself anymore. Uh, the issue here is what do I do with all these books? Because uh, it's it's kind of double stack. It's like this and the same one on the other side. Uh, it's a problem. I don't have room. <laughs> I don't have room to put these unread books anywhere else. So, um, just behind here, let's see if I can do this. Um, you can kind of sort of see this. I have two of these, um, I guess like nightstand kind of ish things. Uh, I have two of them. I have one of them there and the other one is over there. You can't see it. Um, this one has some books in it and these are mostly books that I know or know ish that I'm going to be picking up soon or soonish. Um, these books on the book car here, uh, they are a bit more like, I don't feel like I want to read them right now. Um, <laughs> I do, but I don't. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of my organisation as far as the unread books goes. Because the unread books, they may not go on the shelf until they are read. That is my system. <laughs> they don't belong with the red books yet. So um, they get to stay out of my big shelves and be feeling naughty that I haven't read them. Because it obviously is the book's fault that I haven't read that yet. The way the mind works. Um, also, so, because why make this easy? So, <laughs> I also have some book mail. Yeah. Um, so I thought, let's just open them and see what books uh, they are, which books they are, and figure out where everything goes. Because I need to take this apart, but before I take this apart with these little handy things, uh, I need to move the books. So this is going to be a disaster waiting to happen. But, you know, let's open some book mail and get that happy endorphin feel of um, new books. Yeah. So I know one of them said, does all of them say it though? No. So one of them says, educational book and I was like I've not ordered a educational book um so I'm thinking this is a middle grade book um because if it's an educational book I have not ordered that <gasps> oh 
It's not. It's. Uh... Yes! It's here! It's finally here! So, this. I can move now and get the other one. So, uh, I have the second book in this series. This one, the hardback version, has been very hard to find um, and uh, Waterstones uh, just did a like re-release I suppose. It's not only Waterstones I don't think but I saw it on Waterstones and I was like uh, I'm buying this now because I wanted this cover in hardback form because I have issues obviously. Um, so now I just need to wait for book three before starting them because I'm gonna want to just binge them and um, I'm gonna do a vlog on this as well. I did uh, a did I do a vlog or just a video? I did a video uh, on rereading the Caraval series because I wanted to immerse myself again. Um, apparently you don't need to have read Caraval to read these and so we'll see um, but I just wanted to know you know um i still don't know if this series is supposed to be set before or after caraval because it has jacks in it which is a character car caraval which is a character we meet in the like the last two caraval books yes so this book will be going over there i uh, <laughs> i have a very weird system okay so that was an educational book, sure. I suppose. All right, this one is just books and related products. I always find it funny reading these. Not strong enough, okay. Well, oh, okay. So I ordered this. Well, pre-ordered this, not really knowing why, but it's uh, 19 Steps by Millie Bobby Brown. So apparently, I didn't know before, but I've heard it now. Uh, apparently, it's like based off uh, her, I think it was grandmum or something. Her, like, um, experiences. I don't know, uh, during the war. So it's uh, London 1942, oh, fancy. Um, and then also, it's apparently, yeah, inspired by the true events of a family history, Millie Bobby Brown's dazzling debut novel is a moving tale of longing, loss and secrets and the lengths to which we go to fight for love. Apparently it's also ghost written, uh, which uh, I didn't know if it was. I had my suspicions, but We'll see. We'll see. I'm curious to see the story. See the story? Read the story. All right. Book. Just books and related products. It's a good thing there's another end to it because that book. Oh, satisfying. <gasps> Um, my friend Holly, she got me, I was it last, no it wasn't last Christmas, this was the Christmas before, either way, she got me for Christmas, she got me uh, the, what's it called, something, hang on, Midnight in Everwood, is that what it's called, possibly, I'm, I'm trying to see what it says on the shelf, anyway, um, by M.A. Kuznar. Kusner? I don't know how to say the name, I'm sorry. Um, so I saw this, I saw Sprayed Edges, okay, and then I saw the name and I was like, I recognise that name, let's see what it's about. Um, so exclusive Washington edition, signed by the, oh, it's signed. Oh, fancy. Where is it signed? Oh, there is it signed. It is signed. Um, I don't know what this is about, what is it about? I don't know. We'll see. But upon a frosted star, I'm trying to read it. Upon a frosted star, 
we'll see. Um, I feel like it's another kind of retelling sort of thing because the other one was a nutcracker retelling, wasn't it? Something. Um, it kind of giving me, it's kind of giving me the same feels. Anyway, um, fourth and last parcel. It's way slimmer. This is an educational book again. Is this the middle grade one? I can't see. Yes, it is. So it's uh, the second book in the Double Trouble Society. The Double Trouble Society and the Worst Curse by Carrie Hall Fletcher. Now, I don't have the first book. Um, I don't know how I missed it, but I'll be getting it soon. Um, it's so shiny. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Um, but I do have like all her other books. So I'm just like collecting books by authors I know by now. <laughs> Something like that. Um, let's um, try to clean this up a bit. Garbage. Anyway, so I need to... Um, I need to unbox things. I need to remove the books from this card because it's literally pushing me now. And um, then we need to figure out what we're going to do with the books. Because I don't know. I don't know yet. There is no plan behind this video, okay? No plan at all. And I've already been filming for like 12 minutes. Wow. Me in a nutshell. Anyway, speed run, speed run. done. Now let's try to figure out this situation right here. <laughs> Tom has some very much issues, to, a lot of issues today. So, hello, it is the next day. Um, so, I disassembled the book car. That's basically what I did. And then uh, when I went to like get up from the floor, um, which was fine, um, I, I got up, but then I also kind of fell down. I fell down on my finger. The finger went uh, and I think I almost broke my finger. I, it's fine now. Um, it hurts like enter all the expletives here um but um I can, I can bend it and stuff so i i didn't break it but it hurts a lot <laughs> so i didn't continue filming anyway so i have some hot chocolate i have two crazy boys um which i don't know what they're gonna do but i i have a feeling they're gonna crash be loud anyway um so i want to well i want to figure out this book situation so uh, the baskets of the book cart i placed them on top of my bookshelves behind you i'll show you later i don't know if i'm gonna keep them there or if they're gonna go in the trash, but I, I like them because it says once upon a time there was a girl with many books. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, I will be getting a new book cart uh, uh, eventually. I just don't want to spend the money on a book cart right now. 
because it costs more than a book. It costs more than a couple of books. Um, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's a later project uh, to be had. I will, I think, I will be ordering new, um, are they called stencils? The texts that I, I put on the bacot. I think I will be ordering more of those. Oliver's just gone into one of the um, little uh, boxes, I suppose. Tom! Tom! You're okay? Tom thinks he's a suffering boy. I'm not sure why. Tom! Oliver's gone to check on him. Anyway, so let's let's deal with this situation here, which you cannot see, but there's uh, a couple of piles of books. Let's see, can you see this? Yes, you can. Um, so I'm going to take out these. Um, we'll go through them and see, because I think some of these books can also go here. Jeez, can you calm down, please? Can, oh, they cannot calm down. Um, I also have another one of these right here, which is technically empty, except for, um, so the, the cats have a cat fountain, and um, this box has been here, because they like to go in it. Um, but I think I'm gonna use this space. Hello? Um, for books and they can have the box somewhere else This is what it's like to have a lot of cats. You have random boxes everywhere Yeah, so anyway Let's remove these to start And um, kind of check what we have I suppose Elsa brought this because <clears throat> cat hair everywhere. So let's kind of clean that up. Yeah. That'll do, poo. That'll do. So, what do we have? What do we have? So, I have a bunch of books that I've started that I, I want to finish, but uh, other shiny books keep getting in the way. And I can't believe, because this is Joanna Fletcher's, uh, l I suppose it's Le her latest books, books, uh, book, uh, Walking on Sunshine. I usually read her books, like, straight away. I've started it. How, how far did I get? I read one chapter, um, and then I don't know why I didn't continue it. Who's, who's hitting me? Hello? Um, but that happened. Um, I'm, I'm gonna read it. I go, I'm gonna read it. I promise. <laughs> I promise, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. So, I have the hundred-year-old man who climbed out of a window and disappeared. I also started this. I have not finished it. Um, the fading. I don't know about this one, but I started it. The dark path. Still don't know about this. Started that one as well. Um, Cephalshire. Um, I did read, I think, yeah, so I read the first part, so I'm like on par. These are quite heavy books, um, as in the matter in them. Um, so they're kind of like time travel y history bits. They're very well written but they're also a lot for my brain. Um, so I, I need to continue this eventually because there's a third one as well, which is somewhere here. Yeah, here, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> um, yes, there we go. One more than we have. Oh yeah, Gemini. Um, so Illuminate got, took a while to get into that. Uh, once I got into it, it was the end. Second book, new characters. <laughs> We're following different people. Um, so I think that's gonna take a while too, but I do wanna finish it. Eventually. 
Um, what do we have? Got your heart. Not sure about that one. Music and Malice and Hurricane Town. I type town. Um, I want to finish it. Just have not got around to it. Oh yeah, and the secret history, but done a tart. Um, so I do want to finish it, but in, it's so it's a bit boring. Well, not boring. It's well, yeah, yeah. I do want to know what happens though, so I'll I'll be finishing that at some point. Uh, Boy Queen, I should finish this. Um, oh yeah, this Christmas Shopaholic, um, probably for Christmas. I'm gonna try to finish it for Christmas. I did want to finish it for Christmas in July, it didn't happen. Um, so maybe for actual Christmas. We'll see. Uh, I also have another Sophie Kinsella, I owe you one. Um, yeah. Okay, so those are a bunch of books that I've started. I thought they were books that I wanted to read or thought I was going to read soonish. Well, interesting. Um, what's happened to this one? Oh no, it's broken. Um, apparently some cats have been it because, ah, uh, such. Um, it's fine. The latest page tune. Well, the latest for now. I have a feeling the next one is going to come out before I actually manage to pick this one up. But it's fine. It's fine. I love Page Tune. This one, um, I haven't read it yet. Uh, it's. I will have read it when this video comes out, but not yet. Anyway, um, it's next in line. So. I also have two Olivia Blake books, uh, both standalones, both very different if I catch the whole meaning of it. I do think I'm going to read those soon. Once the problem for us to start, maybe. I think this one is going to go with the other hardback books. So I kind of put most of, it's mostly hardbacks, there's some paperbacks. Uh, so I've kind of put them uh on on the back of the bookshelves i guess um the other bookshelves behind the bookshelves that's confusing um i think i'm gonna put that there because um so i did that because hardbacks are bigger and didn't really fit on the book cart um so there's that so i think i'm gonna put that there I'll put that there for now. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, yeah, so I've started the first one. I haven't got very far yet, but I do have this whole, um, what is it called? Hope Meadows. So it's um, the writing duo. It's a man and a woman. I don't remember the actual names, but they go by Lucy Daniels. Uh, I have this whole series here. I've started the first one. Um, where do we put them all? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I also have... So where are those? Those are here. Okay, so I have like um, the whole... What is this series? A Baby Ganesh Agency Investigation. Is that what the series is called? Um, all the books by um, Vaseem Khan. Well, not. I think he has other books. But this series. I've not started this one yet. I've just collected the books. Um, we'll put these here too. I also have... What more do we have? Um, so I have a bunch of Ben Aronovich um books as well this is actually hurting my finger i'm not gonna lie um those um there are more in the series so uh i want to collect those i also need to continue on with this series soon as i do like it it won't fit in that way oh no oh no question is can i do Can they go doubly stacked like this? 
barely, barely. I'm gonna try it anyway. How many books will I get if they go on this way? Probably even less. They're sticking out a bit in the back. We're gonna deal with it. We're, we're dealing with it, it's fine. I also wanna put the, um, what are these called? The TV series is called True Blur, but what is the, it's Suki Stackhouse something. So I have a bunch of them, oops. Um, I don't have the complete series, uh, I'm missing a couple of the last books, um, but I do want to try to collect those um, at some point. That series, um, reading it is a lot. Um, I only watched a couple of the episodes of the TV series, I never really got into it, but mostly because there were so many other things to watch. So there's that. Um, this is a series. Uh, I've read the first book. The first book has a horrendous cover. I hate it, which is uh, terrible because I ordered that book twice and it had different covers on the picture on the website. Um, these are books two and three. There is a possibility that are more. I don't know. Because it's written by Anonymous, it's hard AF to figure out. I think the series is called like The Bourbon Kid or something like that. Um, anyway. Laws can go there too. Um, what more do we have? What more do we have? Okay, so we can have that Stephen Fry, Hippopotamus, and Just Henry. So this is, I think, um, there are like a bunch of books in this series, but they're all standalones. I'm not completely sure. It's something with historical things. I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know if I want to read this anymore. Um, I'm not sure why I bought it in the first place, but I did a bunch of years ago. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Okay, so I have um, the last three, like, what do we call these? Um, it's the Sherlock Holmes book, books, anyway. Um, but I have a reading order for them because you have to jump between books to get the like the the publication order because weirdness. Anyway, I also have <laughs> a bunch of Jane Austen books. I hate these editions. They're stunning with their like gold sprayed edges and stuff, but they're so hard to read with their Bible pages. Um yeah. I feel like this one should also go in here somewhere. It fits! As well as Obsidio. Oh yeah, I should put... So I have this copy of Ninth House. I haven't got the second one yet, but I should put them over there. I don't know why. For some reason. Am I actually getting... Managing to get... Hmm, this is interesting. So, let's see. Uh, the Cornish Cream Tea Christmas. It's like part three or something, so I need to get other books. Um, a, Chris, a surprise Christmas wedding. This is also like in the middle of a series, so I need to get the other books. Uh, Oliver Twist. Chunky. It's, it's quite heavy for the little size it is. Um, 
classic. I will be reading it at some point. I'm just not in a classic mood. Um, got these. And this. And then two little um, quick reads. It says sort of right on the cover. Um, but they're like short stories. This one is like short stories in the Poirot series. Um, and I've not read any Agatha Christie, so I feel like I should get this. This is like part 16 or something in this <laughs> series. Um, I did not know that um, when I bought it. I was just like, one pound, a uh, kitchen. Well, someone else said kitchen. Uh, I just paid for it. Anyway. Another classic, I suppose, The Revolutionary Road. I don't know if I actually want to read it. I'm not sure I, why I even bought it in the first place. As well as this one. She. Um, I like the cover, that's probably why. Um, but apparently, very controversial, so that's interesting. Um, what else do we have? Okay, so the Candace Bushnell's book. Um, Jungle's... Lipstick Jungle and One Fifth Avenue. I find her, her books so hard to read. Um, so they're not a priority. Some point, some point. What else do we... Um, I'm not sure about these yet. Yeah, so Pedigree Mum and uh, Breathless by Jennifer Niven. This is Fiona Gibson. I'm not sure when I want to read those. So we're just putting them away. <laughs> this is how we deal with things. We just put them away. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. So I have the complete grim fairy tale. Um, I read some of it, and then I had an idea, and then I stopped reading it. Um, I want to finish it at some point. I also have the Odyssey and the Iliad by Hayuma, stunning editions. I have started reading one of them. Yeah, whichever one of them is first, I never remember. Well, that one was. Right, one more we have. Okay, we have the Arcanum and Bound. Um, I have a bunch of uh, posters here because um, I'm reading it as soon as I can read it. Um, I, each short story thing. Um, basically, I, I just finished the third Miss Bourne book, the first era, and. Um, I think I need to read what's it to say. Um, this contain this story contains minor spoilers for the alloy or alloy of war of uh, law, war law law. Um, so basically, I need to continue on reading the Brandon Sanderson books before I can continue on with that. Um, I don't have more of his books to read currently, um, so that's a different problem. Yeah. Right. Hello. I have Troy and Heroes by Stephen Fry, um, Greek book, books. I read Mythos, um, so I want to read these at some point, um, and I will, I just don't know when I feel like it. Um, a Rose Petal Summer, so I read um, a Quick Reads book by Katie Ford. Um, it wasn't, so the story wasn't bad. The execution of the writing was terrible. Um, hello? Um, so I'm, I'm a bit, I, do I want to continue on? Um, I will at some point probably, I'm not gonna lie. When do I ever get rid of books? I don't really. Okay, what do we have left? We have The Divine Comedy by Dante. So there is someone on YouTube, I don't remember the name now or the channel, um, but they've done like a um, how to read The Divine Comedy. Uh, like, they, they've made like chapters for you to read. So um, I will try to find that and probably follow along because I think the Divine Comedy is a lot to read, uh, but I do want to read it because it's just one of those things. Right, so I'm kind of running out of room. I've also not 
like drank any of my hot chocolate so it's now cold chocolate it's fine okay what do we have left <clears throat> okay so I have uh, the chocolate lovers club the chocolate lovers diet the chocolate lovers Christmas and the chocolate lovers wedding um, completed series I started book one of course I did um, I have not continued it so let's put that there um, okay so I have also by Carol Matthews a place to call a place to call home um, it's now or never and Christmas Cakes and Mistletoe Nights and a million love songs they kind of fit there so I'm just gonna put them there I do have this area as well how many books do I have left Ooh, okay so let's see what we have here I have my map of you by Isabel Broom the only Isabel Broom book I own um hey uh, I followed Isabel Broom for the longest time on socials um, and she I mean she goes to the places where she then writes a book about <laughs> she goes to places gets inspiration writes a book um, <laughs> uh, and I love that. I absolutely love it. She, I mean, I think she went to like New Zealand with EasyJet or something like that. It's the budget budget friendly way. Um, I don't think EasyJet is that cheap anymore. So yeah. Anyway, um, I also have The Lost World um, by Michael. I want to say Crichton, but I heard someone say Cretan the other day, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know apparently this was a book he didn't want to write but he did anyway so that that's interesting um, I also have the yearbook by Holborn so this might be a Yalk read because I will be bringing it to Yalk because this is not one which has been signed yet and I need my I need my Holborn book signed okay yeah she's she's going there so yes okay I got my little I got my little Lindsay Kelk mug full of weird bookmarks. Um, can it fit here? <gasps> oh my god, it fits there! Oh my god, it fits! What do I do with the cat brushes though? Um, okay, so what do we have left? We have, um, we have these and we have these. So we have eight books that have not been able to fit in. Actually, let's put page two. That's going to destroy the book, isn't it? You can't even see. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Can we put... Ish. Alright. I think that's it. I think I'm okay with this. These are gonna have to go like on the table because this, these are stacked now. These are stacked. Come on, I'll show you. I shall show you. I shall show you all. Get ready for that close up. There we go. Okay. So, what? Um, Dust jackets, we're not talking about that cat stuff. Um, this is pretty full to the brim, I'm not gonna lie. It's also kind of sticking out in the back. Um, we're not talking about that. Um, this one is not as uh, nicely stacked, but it's stacked. It may also be sticking out in the back. I put some in there and the mug, and now I just need to do something about this. Ignore my cold hot chocolate mug but I did this um I did that that's gonna have to be a good thing so right welcome to the back side of my bookshelves uh more bookshelves so my non-fiction that I've read plus some short story collections um storage 
um, unread non-fiction, all of them, and here are my like two shelves of, I want to say missing books slash books I'm not going to read yet because these two, I'm waiting for book three and four, um, that one is just huge and chunky, and that one has a book before it. Lots of them have books after them. I've just gotten Once Upon a Rogan Heart, so I can now read those two, but I'm waiting for book three. I'm waiting for Six of Crows. <laughs> yeah, that's a different story. Book number two, don't have book number one. Also, book number two, don't have book number one. So, there's that. So, yeah. There's that. So, yeah, like I said, I put those baskets on top. I intended to put the books, unread books there. Now I don't know. Well, I think this video turned out to be way longer than I intended it for it to be. I just intended it to be my book crop broke. Oh, what do? Um, but we'll see when once I edit it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.